Hi there. Today, I want to show you how using the right and wrong paper surface can affect your watercolour painting. I've got six different papers and I'm going to paint them all with the same pigment, Hooker's Green. I'll paint a wash and some lines to show you the different way the paint behaves on the various surfaces. First, I've got some copier paper. Look how the paint is absorbed straight into the paper. My wash is streaky. Now the wet paper is wrinkling or cockling and will tear easily. This is cartridge paper. It's strong but still very absorbent. It's very hard to move the paint around on the surface of the paper. It also streaks and cockles. This is Bristol board. This paper does not absorb the paint at all, it just sits on the surface. On a quality watercolour paper, the paint takes longer to dry, so you have more time to work on it. This is Windsor & Newton 300 gram cold pressed watercolour paper. This time the paint sits on the surface of the paper for long enough to work the paint and create a good wash. The paper is strong enough to support the multiple layers of paint and water. This is Windsor & Newton 300 gram hot pressed watercolour paper. It absorbs colour easily and allows clean even brush strokes. It's good for fine detail because there's no texture to the surface. Finally, I've got some Windsor & Newton rough texture watercolour paper, another strong paper. The wash of paint is enhanced by the texture of the surface. Granulation and other textural effects work well on this paper. I hope you found this video helpful.